This is a great day. If anyone has been out here in the years past, we've been blessed to be able to do this for the last four years. Last year it was raining, and we all had to run over next door, so we got blessed with great weather today. Uh, joining us today, we want to give a, a little certificate, just a small token of our appreciation uh, to some great ball players, uh, current and past. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Tom Rickard thanking the Orioles for their participation in the fifth annual Youth Sports Spring Baseball Clinic with the Baltimore Club. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also on this edition, a conversation with the Howard County Executive, a look at the 55th annual combat camera competition, and Memorial Day is coming up. Those stories and more, but first, last Friday, General Paul Nakasone assumed command from Admiral Mike Rogers as Commander of U.S. Cyber Command, Director of National Security Agency, and Chief of the Central Security Service. The event also marked the elevation of U.S. Cyber Command as the 10th Combatant Command in the Department of Defense. The ceremony was also the official opening of the NSA and the Cyber Command's Integrated Cyber Center. In other news, neighboring Howard County is home to more than 20,000 veterans. 14,000 commute to Fort Meade every day. Recently, Meade TV got a chance to speak with Howard County Executive Alan Kittleman and Lisa Terry, the manager of the Howard County Office of Veterans and Military Families. And it's really designed to make sure that those individuals in our community have a voice and they can help us to better uh, make policy decisions that will improve the lives of, of veterans and the, and the families. While the Commission meets monthly and provides policy guidance, it's the Office of Veterans and Military Families that works daily to provide resources, information, and guidance for veterans. We are under the Human Services umbrella for Howard County, the Department of Community Resources and Services. I'm one of eight offices and we really um, help the veterans and military families and their survivors and dependents navigate all the resources that are available not only locally but state and federally as well. I work with the nonprofits and the veteran service organizations, local businesses, all that offer programs or employment or education opportunities for veterans, uh, military spouses, and transitioning service members. Terry adds that partnerships are critical. The partnerships is probably one of the things I'm the most proud of because without those partnerships, we couldn't do what we do. And of course, the partnership with Fort Meade is very important to the county. Fort Meade is such an important part of our country, not just our region, our country. And we want to make sure that we can continue to help provide the workforce. Uh, we have a very talented and skilled workforce here in Howard County. We'll have more on the partnership and look at some of the ongoing programs for veterans in Howard County on the next edition of Meade Week. Meanwhile, the 55th Signal Company here at Fort Meade conducts an annual competition to find the best in the combat camera field. The week-long competition honors and is named after Specialist Hilda I. Ortiz. Ortiz captured the explosion that killed her and four Afghan soldiers in 2013. Here's a look at this year's competition from the 55th Specialist Nicholas Maloney. Welcome. We're going to kick this off with Hildy's Challenge. If you look up challenge, it actually states the challenge is to object or query the truth. The truth is that you all arrived here to say that you all are the best combat camera team in the Department of Defense. To do that challenge, we have to provide an arena. This is your arena. Tomorrow, Quantico will be your arena. As you can go on with this competition, I want you to understand that the only thing that matters in this arena is you. Whether or not it's success or failure, that's the only thing that comes with you that you need to take away from this whole process. That you stepped in, you gave it all you had for the experience and all the endeavors and all the sweat, blood, and grind that you'll do this whole competition. That no one else matters except for you and your teammates as you execute this challenge, this proof of truth, if you are the best comp camp. We'll have pictures of the winners of the competition in the next edition of The Sound Off. Elsewhere, Fort Meade's Memorial Day Observance is coming up on Sunday, May 20th. It's the 32nd annual Massing of the Colors. Color Guard units from the Department of Defense, state and local law enforcement, veterans groups, scouts, and many more make for a pretty spectacular display. Once again, the massing of the colors is Sunday, May 20th, starting at 2.30 in the Fort Meade Pavilion. One final reminder from us at the Public Affairs Office, we're hosting our quarterly Facebook Town Hall meeting on Thursday, May 17th from 4.30 to 6 in the evening. So prepare your questions for the Garrison Commander and join us on Facebook Thursday. Until then, that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.